Hi, today we want to tell you about our project, Cloud, and how we grow bananas at CERN. Don't worry, that will make sense at the end of this video. CERN is the European Organisation for Nuclear Research, located near Geneva at the border of Switzerland and France. It provides the particle accelerators for high-energy physics experiments. It also provides a particle beam for the cloud experiment, which looks at how cosmic rays and humans affect Earth's climate. Global warming describes the current warming of Earth's surface. The warming is mainly caused by increases in greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. They make it harder for infrared light, or heat, to get out of the atmosphere. This raises the temperature of Earth's surface. To understand exactly how this works, let's have a closer look at the atmosphere. Visible light is emitted by the Sun and travels towards Earth. Around 30% of that light is reflected back into space by the atmosphere, clouds and Earth's surface. The rest is absorbed and re-emitted as infrared light. The energy going out from the atmosphere has to balance the energy coming in from the Sun. Due to burning fossil fuels and other human activities, greenhouse gases are increasing in the atmosphere. These make it harder for infrared light to escape the atmosphere, and so it gets warmer. But it's more complicated than that, because we are also adding aerosol particles. Overall, aerosols are cooling the atmosphere, though they are also harmful air pollution. Aerosols are tiny particles suspended in the atmosphere that can both absorb and reflect light. Some particles are directly emitted by plants, the sea, sand, human activity and many other sources, but the majority are actually formed directly in the atmosphere from gases. This process is called new particle formation and under the right circumstances the particles can grow big enough to seed cloud droplets. Human activities have increased aerosols since pre-industrial times, and this has offset part of the warming from greenhouse gases. But we don't yet know how big this offset is. It could be as much as one half, or it could be almost nothing. So it is important to study and understand aerosols to sharpen projections of future climate change this century. As you can see, our atmosphere and its effects on global temperature are very complex. To make it easier, we put the atmosphere in a box at CERN called the cloud chamber. That way, we can study different processes under controlled conditions where we know everything inside the chamber and try to understand the processes underway in the atmosphere. The cloud chamber is filled with synthetic ultra-pure humid air containing minute amounts of selected gases found in the atmosphere. During an experiment, many different instruments sample the air in the chamber so we can analyse the chemical composition, aerosol particle number, size and many other parameters. After turning on ultraviolet lights in the chamber to simulate sunlight, reactions occur between the gases and they start to form molecules that can cluster together to form particles. The particles grow in size over time and the way we plot them, the data takes the shape of a banana. Several studies have suggested that galactic cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles that continually rain down on our atmosphere from space, can influence the formation of particles and, in turn, clouds. At the cloud experiment, we use a pion beam from the CERN proton synchrotron to simulate cosmic rays. This allows us to study the effect that cosmic rays have on the chemistry and physics of our atmosphere, and possibly on clouds and climate. Thank you for watching. From everyone at Cloud. Thank you.